this is Tiffany with CKC Patterns and I'm showing how to make the long piece of bias tape for Berkeley's and so I've started with a 17 and a half by 17 and a half inch square it's important that you make sure that it's square on all edges an exact 17 and a half and then we're gonna draw a line from the top right corner to the bottom left corner. If your measuring tape is not, or measuring piece is not quite long enough, you can start to draw it and then just slide down making sure you stay in line and finish drawing your line. All right, so I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, now at this point I have drawn the line and I've gone ahead and cut across the diagonal line we just made. And then I'm marking with a little X using my, um, disappearing ink pen I drew at the bottom and then also here at the top. So now I can take these two pieces and I'm gonna flip this bottom one and I'm gonna put them right sides together and they're gonna overhang one another by a quarter of an inch. So you wanna align those raw edges right sides together with a little quarter inch overhang on each side. And so if you were to check, the X's that you made in the last bit are touching right sides together. Now, using a quarter inch seam allowance, I'm gonna sew from this point where they begin to overlap all the way across to this point where they stop overlapping, um, a one quarter inch seam allowance. So now we've sewn our pieces together and then you're going to take your iron and press that brand new seam open. That's important so that you don't have a lot of bulk whenever you're making your bias tape. And so whenever you are finished, you should have a nice parallelogram created here. Now I flipped my fabric so that it's wrong side up for this next step. We're gonna be drawing lines every two inches on your fabric all the way across. You can do it on the right side of the fabric, but if you do it on the wrong side, you'll, you'll see it a little better for a later on state, uh, step when we're matching up the lines. So I'm gonna take my disappearing ink pen and draw a line every two inches all the way down to the bottom. Once you get to the very end, if you happen to have a little more than two inches left over, you're just gonna go ahead and draw that line and cut it off, but you should come out just about right. Now we have our lines drawn every two inches, and then I ended up going ahead and drawing this line here and cutting off about a quarter inch. And your fabric might have stretched a little bit in the ironing step, so that you might have to cut this as well. Now you're going to flip your parallelogram so that it's right sides facing up and we're going to take one edge and bring it to the center line or the center seam. You're going to take the other edge and bring it to the center seam. Now you can see that the lines that we've drawn totally match up but we don't want them to exactly match up because we want to end up cutting a spiral so we have a continuous piece. So we're going to pull this triangle down and this triangle up until they split to the next lines. So now instead of this lining up here, it's lining up with this line. So then you're gonna force your fabrics to be right sides together at this center. You're gonna have to kind of pull them up. And it's gonna be a little awkward because your fabrics are coming in at different angles. The object here is to have this line and this line where we've pulled them up, to intersect each other at a quarter inch down from the raw edge. So when they intersect, it's gonna be about here, and your lines are gonna be going in different angles, you can see, but we want them to intersect each other a quarter inch down. So this line is actually going this way and this one's kind of going this way, but one quarter inch from the raw edge, they're intersecting. So you're gonna do that all the way down this open edge of your fabric and go ahead and pin them and sew a seam one quarter inch from the raw edge. Okay, so I've sewn my seam together, then you're gonna press it so that it's laying out flat 
and using a pair um well so now you'll have a tube that you've created and using a pair of scissors you're going to start right here at this line and just start cutting all the way around one layer of fabric at a time making a spiral now we have a long strip of bias tape we're going to start by folding that in half and pressing a seam or a crease down the middle then you're going to open that back up and then we'll take both sides and fold them into that crease and press it and then we can fold it back in half and press it again and this is creating a double fold bias tape and you're going to sandwich your pieces in between these two folds now at the end you can see we have like a little bit of extra here you can just cut this off if you're going to be doing a piece where this is the end such as on the long sleeves around the cuffs then you'll want to fold once you cut this you'll fold the short end in a quarter inch and press and then sandwich it all in here if it's going to be finished where two edges of the bias tape are going to be meeting, you don't have to enclose the end and we'll go over that in another video.